Hey guys, and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. Today, I have a gameplay for you where I am in the Grosser Kurfus, the legendary tier German battleship. Now, before you click off this video, okay, after you've liked it and subscribed, hopefully, um, I'm just going to say this now. I, um, my streams are now going to be on Saturdays and Tuesdays, hopefully most weeks. I'll let you know in the stream if I in the so if I can't do the Saturday, I'll let you know in the Tuesday stream. If I can't do the Tuesday stream, I'll let you know in the Saturday stream. You know, um, but it's going to be uh, Saturdays and Tuesdays, so they will be my streaming days from now on. So that's just before you click off, because I wanted to make sure that you all heard that, especially my current subscribers, because. You get notified immediately, and then I can like, well, you can hop on my streams, can't you? And it's helpful knowing the days when I am streaming. But as you can see, we are in the Grosser Kurfus, which is the uh, legendary tier German battleship. We are going to, um, well, if you haven't actually already seen my video on the Grosser Kurfus, the Garden gameplay. Um, I will leave that in the big box things at the end <clears throat> because um, then you'll be able to see how um, why I'm playing it the way I am. So this Iowa here, he gets spotted and he's completely broadside to me. So we will fire a full broadside salvo into him. As you can see, they look very good going in, and we get the Citadel now. This game is by no means a high damage game. It is just a fun short video, eight minutes long. And it's, we get quite a lot of citadels in it, which is obviously fun for you guys to watch. Stupidly here, I turn too far to port, so I end up not being able to shoot at anyone for a while. There's a Suzuya there, but can't shoot at him yet because he's behind an island and this Iowa is out of range and is stupidly firing high explosive at me not sure why because germ uh, sorry not German uh, American armor piercing is quite good especially with those massive 16 inch guns but anyway here's the Suzuya we're gonna take the shots there we go and they're going in they look good and it's someone just pounded the Suzuya and then we only get a bounce, which is obviously not good. There we hit the island, but before you guys start thinking, it was intentional because it's quicker for me to start reversing if you hit an island. That That's just for some reason the physics of all the warships. We're gonna take another shot. Hopefully we'll get it around the island. We do get a few rounds and we get one pen and one over pen. So, not that good, and then the massive shoots, it just absolutely wipes them. As you can see, we'll probably tell, actually, we are running Otto Celiax as our commander because we only have the 16 kilometer range, which obviously is not preferable, but it's all right. I mean, it's, these German ships are meant for brawling which we obviously aren't doing much of currently, but we will eventually. We're going to try and get this Wichita in range of our main battery. And then uh, we see the Yami pushing in, and then the Alaska, who comes out and pokes his nose. So we're going to shoot. Now, um, this, this game, I'm not sure if I've already mentioned, it is mainly Citadels. But from time to time, I won't get anything. But uh, sometimes the dispersion on this ship is just not good. Because, like, you just saw I got absolutely nothing out of a broadside Alaska. I just bounced the shell. But right now, I am being targeted by most people on the enemy team. The Wichita, the I was targeting me. And then this Yamato decides to turn broadside to me so I'm gonna take the shot and it and he disappears somehow and then he reappears 
and we Citadel him for another 24k damage, which is obviously very nice. We start turning in expecting a return salvo, but it's not going to come, so we're going to turn back out again. Check where he is. He's nearly broadside still, so we're going to take another shot. Hopefully, going to get another Citadel. And we do, we get another Citadel for another, what, like 20k damage. And then, very luckily, that island there blocks us from death. Nearly death, near a possible death experience. We're gonna zoom back in on that Yami who is no longer broadside, which is just unfortunate. So we're gonna take a shot on this Alaska. Hopefully, we'll be able to kill him only using our, our rear battery because, well, it was going to go down to that rear battery anyway. Forward battery um, out on the Iowa who's finally started to use his brain and is no longer firing high explosive. We earn, we completely miss him. There's the Yami. Turning out a bit more broadside, but as you can see, I'm being targeted by the entire enemy team. And we completely miss, and we only just get away with it. So, we have 1,000 hull points left. This Wichita, Decides to pop up, we get finished off by the Ami, but we get another two Citadels leaving this Wichita on nothing. So, out of 20 shell hits that we had, we got five Citadels. That is, if you haven't already done the maths, a Citadel in every four shell hits, which is pretty much a Citadel every salvo. I mean, I know it wasn't, but. It pretty much is. So we got 109,000 damage, which is very good. And we did leave the Wichita with no health left. But I just thought that would be a really fun game for you guys to watch. And it, it yeah, just really, it was a fun game. And I hope you really enjoyed it. Because I certainly enjoyed making it and it playing Gross Curve first to get that I was not attempting to get that I was just trying to get a good grosser curve first game and I got it really it wasn't great it was just quite a fun game to watch really but um if you guys did like this video make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel um yeah I've said about the streaming things I hope you enjoyed the video and it, um, I'll see you guys in the next one